Hey guys, so in today's video, I'll be doing a full review of HubSaf and why I think it's one of the best softwares you can use, especially if you have overseas employees. Now, obviously there are a ton of perks to hiring overseas, but the one drawback is that you can't really hold people accountable, at least not as well. They likely might be working when you're not working yourself. And so it's really, really important to have some type of software or accountability set in place so that your team is actually productive. Now, I've been using HubSaf for a long time for my businesses, and I have to say, I think it's one of the best time tracking software software is available just based on the ease of use, the cost is very affordable, and how powerful it is. I think that anyone that has an overseas team needs to have something like Hubstaff, especially if you want to maximize your team's productivity. So this is the Hubstaff main website. Let's check out the pricing because of course that's important. As you guys can see, they have the starter, grow, team, and enterprise plans. You guys can either pay annually, which saves you about two months every year. So a little over 20% off. And there's also the monthly one so that's going to be a little bit more expensive as you guys can see we'll take a look at the annual plan since i think most of you guys getting hubsaf are going to use it for a long time but yeah the starter plan it starts at about five dollars per user per month and there is a two user minimum the grow plan is 750 per user per month and as you guys can see each subsequent plan includes more things right so the basic plan it should be good enough for a lot of people it's going to include time tracking time sheets activity levels uh, you can take limited screenshots there's limited app and URL tracking, there's limited reports, and you can have clients and invoices. If you go to the grow plan, this basically includes Hubstaff tasks, which is basically their task management tool, as you guys can see here. So if you guys have ClickUp and you sort of want to have everything in one spot, then this could be a good plan to choose. However, I don't personally use Hubstaff tasks, so I still use ClickUp. And if you get the team plan, it also includes insights. So you can actually see your team's efficiency and productivity. It's pretty powerful. It shows a lot of different things, like what apps they're using and all that stuff. But but not necessary. And even if you guys get the starter plan, you can add on insights or tasks for an additional charge. I think it's about a couple dollars per month. Now, for most of you guys, you probably won't need the enterprise plan. So I'm just going to skip that. I also have no experience with that. And as you guys can see, they also have a free plan that you guys can try out. This is going to include time tracking, timesheets. You can see activity levels. So this is actually a pretty good start. And if you guys do like HubSoft, you can definitely upgrade to one of the paid plans. So yeah, down here, you guys can see these are the optional add-ons. It's about two, three dollars per user per month for most of them. And you can add these on if you need it for your business. So looking at the features, I'm not going to go over every single feature of Hubstaff and why I think it's great, but maybe pause the video right here. These are all the features that come with Hubstaff. And as you guys can see, it's a pretty all-in-one software or platform, and you can do a lot with it. Now I'm going to show you guys the actual dashboard, what it looks like inside Hubstaff. This is not our main account. My other business has a Hubstaff account with a lot of people, but there's a lot of pretty sensitive information there. So I didn't want to show that. But basically what what you guys will do is you'll log in, you'll see your dashboard. It's going to show your weekly activity. It's going to show the number of hours worked per week. And you can basically customize this homepage with different widgets. If you come here to people, you guys can see on this account, I'm the only person on it. But basically what you will do is you can import members or you can add members by clicking on this. You're going to put their email address. So let's say test at test.com. You're going to set their pay rate. This is optional if you do want Hubstaff to calculate the amount of money you owe per person per billing period. And yes, you can run billing through Hubstaff as well. So let's say we're paying $10 per hour. We can invite more people if we want, um, just to make it a little easier. But you're going to set the role. So for most people, it's going to be user. If you do want to set a manager, you can do that as well. You're going to select what project they are going to be on. So let's say recruiting and then click send. Once you add someone, you can come here. You can change their job title, their department, all the hiring details, the accounting info, timeline, all that stuff. You can set what projects and roles they are actually on. We can update the pay rate right here. We can come here to work hours. So you can actually set limits on the number of hours they work. Over here in settings, we can turn on or off the ability to modify the time. So let's say I work six hours and I track it and I realize, oh, I forgot to turn the timer on for 30 minutes. I can actually add that to my work hours. And same thing, the other direction. So let's say you leave the timer on, you can actually remove hours that you have worked. You can set an idle timeout. So if your worker is not having any activity for over, let's say 10 minutes, it's going to time out. It's not going to count them working and you'll always want to click save changes here. This is a very powerful software because you can set it to take screenshots. I know not everyone is going to be a fan of this, but you can set it to take, let's say, a screenshot every 10 minutes. So when your overseas or remote workers are working, they're basically going to download the Hubstaff software or they can just use the internet plugin. They're going to start the tracker and that's going to start the time. And then every 10 minutes, it's going to take a picture of what their screen is showing. It's also going to calculate the activity levels 
sales. This is going to be based on the number of clicks and stuff like that. And I'll sort of show you guys what that looks like. Okay, so now I'm on my other accounts where we actually have tracking enabled for a bunch of our team members. And as you guys can see, I'm in activity and I will come here to screenshots. This is the work that was tracked for one of our workers on the last day. You guys can see it shows the time worked. So in this case, three hours and 31 seconds. Here's going to be the average activity level. This is based on a percentage from zero to 100%. Here is the focus time. And basically you guys can set apps to actually count as focus time. And you can set apps to count as non-focus time. Here you can see 99% was core work, which is great. And basically what we've done is we've set to take screenshots once every 10 minutes. For every 10 minute interval, it's going to have one screenshot and then it's going to show the activity levels for those 10 minutes. So let's say I want to click on one of these. It's going to show the screen. And as you guys can see, this is what the timer looks like on workers desktop. And yeah, it does work for Mac as well as Windows. Right here, it says we were 81% active. So really great. And basically what we can do is scroll through here, do an audit of how productive the worker is. And while I don't do these audits myself, I do have one of my team members do this just to make sure that everyone is on track. Everyone is, you know, working diligently. And we've even been able to see inefficiencies in someone's workflow just by looking at these screenshots. This is the reports part of the dashboard. So you guys can basically see a ton of different reports. For example, time and activity, others daily totals. You can see what apps your team members are using. You can see if there have been any manual time edits. You can see amounts owed to your team members per billing period. We can set budgets as well as limits. And we can even handle invoices here as well. If you guys do have the insights add-on, it's basically going to look like this. So for this week, we have a daily average of four hours and 34 minutes per person. We have an average of 74% core work, average activity level of 56%. You can sort of see what apps they are using. And yeah, just a very, very powerful software. Now, the thing that I really love about HubStaff is that it is super, super easy to use. So we've been using it for a few years and it's very easy for your contractors and employees to actually learn how to use it and remember to use it. It's also very accurate at tracking time. It's very accurate at tracking clicks. And something that people always say is, do you really want to take screenshots of your workers? No, this is an optional thing. You don't have to, but it can help. And I will say that if you don't want to take screenshots of your workers' screens, you can actually turn that feature off. It's just going to track the activity levels. But yeah, sort of think of HubStaff as clocking in and clocking out for your workers. If you don't want to pay them hourly, that's also totally fine. What you guys can do is pay your employees, you know, a salary or a wage and just use HubStaff to make sure that they are productive and working every single day that they should be working. You don't need to track every single thing. You can turn a lot of these things off, but it's still going to be very effective at keeping your team accountable and efficient. The only cons that I will say is that yes, it does cost money. And if you do want to pay your team, I've run into issues where connecting PayPal was pretty much impossible. I still have not been able to figure out how to pay people directly on HubStaff, but that is a feature that is built into the platform. So if you are looking for some type of payroll software, that can be done through HubStaff. So yeah, that's basically how you guys can use HubStaff for your own remote team. I'd rate it something like a nine out of 10. And if you guys do want a free trial, we will have a link down below. And if you're watching this, you likely do have an overseas team or you're thinking about hiring. So here at Paired, we can basically help you guys find the best overseas talent, saving you up to 90% in payroll costs. If you guys are interested, you guys can check out our website, submit the super short questionnaire, and we can hop on a call to see how we can help. Thank you guys so much for your time. I hope you guys got some value from this video. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more content just like this. This whole channel is dedicated to helping you with all your recruiting and hiring needs. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.